Hello, welcome to day three of the Consecration of St. Joseph. Uh, I am so glad that we're on this journey together. Uh, before we jump into the reading for today, uh, I'd like to give just a brief introduction of, for myself. Uh, my name is Evan Smith. I've been a parishioner of St. Joseph uh, since, um, since the middle of 2019. Uh, I've been attending, though, since the fall of 2018. Uh, I was, um, I, I attended Mass for the first time as a, as, um, as a searcher when God, be, when the Lord began drawing me to the faith. Uh, so I'm, I'm very grateful to be here at this parish with all of you and uh, uh, doing this consecration together. So we'll begin the reading for day three, uh, Spouse of the Mother of God. On March 19th, the Church celebrates the Solemnity of St. Joseph. But we do so by reference to his being the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In fact, St. Joseph's whole life is defined by his relation to others. He is the earthly father of Jesus and the husband of Mary. The feast day celebrates his fidelity and courage in fulfilling his obligations to each of them. Where some broadcast their own virtue from the rooftops via social media, St. Joseph is more of a Nike man. He just does it. He is a great counter-witness to the modern obsessions with autonomy. St. Joseph is the quiet man of action, and his actions are oriented to the will of God. Whatever vision he may have had of his life was radically altered that night when the angel appeared to him in a dream. And from Matthew chapter 1, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Matthew chapter 1, verses 20 through 21. After this vision, we are told that when Joseph woke up, he did what the angel told him. Having contemplated a life without Mary, he now sees that being Mary's husband and raising a child, not biologically his own, will be his future. Jesus is the Son of God and the second person of the Trinity. Mary is the mother of God and the mother of the church, and Joseph is remembered in relation to them. Joseph's greatness is to be found in his willingness to let Mary and Jesus be who they should be. Like John the Baptist, he decreases so that they may increase. And we close with a brief prayer to St. Joseph. St. Joseph, pray that I may imitate your selflessness and set aside my own ambitions for the will of God so that you may increase and I may decrease. And now we have the litany of St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of the domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And priest over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
And now we uh, conclude with our daily challenge. The daily challenge is examine how willing you are to put aside your own plans and ambitions and like St. Joseph, quietly seek to serve the needs of others first. I love this challenge because one, it's something I need and it's challenging for me as I, I didn't mention before, but I, I'm married and I have five children and it is a challenge to put aside my own, my own plans for the day. Most of the time, my own plans for the morning when I wake up early and, and the children wake up early, much earlier than they're supposed to. Um, but it's a great challenge because we all are, the goal that we all have is to be saints and to be shaped into the likeness of Christ. Uh, and this challenge reminds us that every time we put aside our own plans uh, to serve others, uh, we're allowing the Holy Spirit to get us one step closer to that sanctity. So um, I hope uh, the Holy Spirit works in all of us today uh, in examining ourselves and serving others. Uh, and we will see you all tomorrow. God bless.